What's up, everybody? Dustin here from Solo Travel Blog. If you want to know my top five favorite comments in recent times, then you've come to the right place. So how's it going, everybody? I hope you're doing well. In fact, come to think of it, I hope you're doing real well. Man, oh man, check out this place I'm staying in right now. It's pretty buck wild. Usually I'm not staying in a place this nice. This place is about $40 a night. Usually I'm staying in places that are about $20 a night. But as you can see, this place has got some serious stencil action and some nice stained glass windows. Basically, it's a colonial building, and the maestro that owns this place told me it's about 250 years old. Then the next day, he told me it was at least 150 years old. So I don't know exactly what's going on, but uh, anyway, I'm getting a tad off topic over here. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love to read the YouTube comments. It's actually one of my favorite parts of doing YouTube. Every time I upload a video, I end up just reading the comments for like, oh, too long, <laughs> let's put it that way. I read them for far too long after I upload videos. And uh, every time I wake up in the morning, I check the, the comments. I love reading the comments. So when someone takes the time to make a really buck wild comment, I definitely take notes. And uh, sometimes I even get some of my lingo from some of the comments that people leave. I draw my inspiration from many sources, including my great viewers like you. So that being said, I've been keeping some tabs on some of the, uh, the Buckwild comments that I've gotten so far since being in India. And right about now, I'm going to tell you my top five favorite comments from my time in India. So let me get this badass laptop over here. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. I'm getting organized over here. Check this shit out, baby. I took notes on this damn topic. So, top five comments. Comment number five. We're going from order of fifth most buck wild. Eventually we'll get to, eventually we'll get to the first most buck wild. So, number five. This comment is on my Fruits Lossy video. The comment is by... I don't know if you can hear those fucking cars. God damn it. Got some horns blasting around here. This city, Kolkata, is really nice, but man, too many horns going on. Anyway, getting off topic. Fruit Lossy Video. This comment is by Taiko Yasuhiro. Sounds kind of like a Japanese name to me, but I don't know exactly. Anyway, let me read this comment to you. It's pretty nice. This comment goes, Those are some beautiful looking, dirt cheap beverages right there. Too many flies swarming around the utensils for my liking, but I'd put up with it for that buck wild mango or pomegranate lassi. Just looking at those delectable pomegranate seeds makes me want to shove them in my mouth. What do you think about that comment? I like that one. We got the word swarming. We got flies, we got shoving in the mouth. There's a lot to like about that comment. All right, we're moving on with our life. Moving on to the next comment. This comment is by Tanvir Akbar, and it's on the Mumbai street food video. So let's do this thing. Comment reads as follows. That there is some mighty fine Hindustani eating bai. I don't know what bai is, but start over that right there is some mighty fine hindustani eating by seems to me that spice hit the spot and changed your life generally for the better your taste buds must have been out of this damn world wondering what the fuck hit them but thanking you for taking them on an adventure looking forward to the next video looking damn forward to a wilder ride it's a pretty nice Pretty nice comment there, damn boy. I like he's got Hindustani in here. I'm assuming it's a guy. Maybe I'm being sexist here. He's got Hindustani. 
That's a nice word. He's got a wild ride. Taste buds wondering what the fuck hit them. I mean, there's a lot to like about that comment. Pretty good comment. I'd say it's a decent comment. Let's see what other kind of comments we got here. Comment number three. This is from Matthew Hoog. It's on the Varanasi tour video, the Ganga River video. And the comment reads as follows. At first I thought, what do I care about this small town of nut jobs who worship a river? But then I remembered I was watching a video produced by the one and only king of Buckwild Adventure himself. And I watched every second of it, baby. <laughs> Pretty good. Gotta like that baby in caps. Gotta like that he summed summed up the city as a small town of nut jobs who worship a river. It's pretty funny. People from all over India come to Varanasi, actually. It seemed like when I was there, um, a lot of people were coming from South India. And when I was there, in Fahrenheit, the, the temperature in Fahrenheit when I was in Varanasi was like 110 during the daytime. But the the guy that owned the guest house I was staying at, he said that people from South India are coming up there because they want to cool down. <laughs> so uh, I don't know if that's true. I don't even think it's possible that it could be hotter down in the South. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. The point is, it's not local nut jobs. It's uh, reasonably minded people from all over the country. <laughs> so we're moving on. Number two. This comment is also by Tanvir Akbar. I think this this guy or girl is quite skilled at making comments. I don't know. Could be me. Anyway, this is on the convenience store tour number 14 video. And the comment reads as follows. What the fuck? There's damn horns out there. I don't know if you can hear that shit. Anyway, the comment reads as follow. As follows. <laughs> Holy fucking masala dogs. This video was a little pleasant if I say so myself. Watching it whilst chowing down on a home cooked spicy bean curry gave me a boner from hell. I wish I could have washed it down with some mofo beverage packed with a little jira action. Waiting for the next one, sweet cheeks. Damn boy, that is a sweet fucking comment right there. I like the fact that it's got Holy fucking masala dogs in it. I like that masala dogs. I was thinking of possibly using that in some future videos, but I don't know. I also like how he was watching me eat and then while he was eating a spicy bean curry that he cooked at home, presumably he or she cooked. Well, I guess it's a guy, right? Because <laughs> he's getting a boner from hell. I like that one. It's a nice fucking comment right there. Damn. Now this last comment, damn, this, this comment hits home. I'm loving this last comment. This comment's on the Stray Dog Feeding Frenzy video. It's by someone called Versing... Versing Torix? Versing, Versing Torix? I don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Whatevs. The point of the matter is, this is the comments. Are you ready? The comment reads as... This video changed my life for the better. These dogs S3C, spiritual, calm, cool, and collected approach to chowing down really brings a tear to my eye. I will pray for those dogs and their fucking iron will tonight before going to bed. Peace out to those Zen ass canines. May the Hindu gods bring them food and drink. To their fucking badass heart's desire. <laughs> oh man, that was a sweet fucking comment. I love the S3C. That is a classic. The whole thing is awesome. Anyway, that's about all, all for the comments right now. So, uh, yeah, that's why I always ask at the end of the video. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Because I like to read the comments. So, maybe I'll be keeping tabs on some future comments. If you like this kind of video, maybe I'll do more. Maybe I'll do a top 10 in the future of more recent comments. So thanks for watching this video about my YouTube comments from badass subscribers. 
Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think. Thanks.